Hello. I'm back again. Well, this is actually a video to say that on, um, well, on the INL retro device, uh, which, let me change cameras real quick. Let's see, tablet, document here. There we go. Alright, let's turn that on. <laughs> might be able to see something. Right here, center screen, and let's zoom in. So, on this device, there we go. So, on this device, I actually have some um, some news for it so I have been trying to figure out how to work it on Linux and I did finally figure that out um, the instructions aren't clear on the actual device well or the site itself but this itself is a very nice ad device it, I do wish it did have extra functionality and also the ability to do other carts through um, pin remapping I like the Atari 2600 the ColecoVision those are at least the systems I have so uh, but it would be nice for me to even have that functionality uh, the reason why I like this device so much is it actually helped me sort of get back into coding so uh, I will attach the file to this and well I'll attach the new file that actually has the Linux instructions uh, and I did um, I did put in the uh, series of commands I could not get the menu to work so someone on the actual actual um, <laughs> project file is working on that it will take them a couple weeks but this is just a uh, head up just so that you can at least start using it without uh, using it on Linux or Windows uh, and I know people had a little bit of issues trying to get it to work uh, but it should work just fine um, I do have a menu file in there um, right now it does nothing uh, but I'm still I want it to be consolidated into one file uh, that's really what I want for the menu for this I, the good thing is I at least have all the menu files and the, for Windows there is a menu file so you can at least use that and it's, I did slightly fix some of the errors and grammatical mistakes so on the previous videos I will be adjusting them so let me go back to the main camera so on the previous video I will be adjusting well, on the previous two videos, I will be adjusting it. Uh, this is not part of the series, so um, in the in the future on part three, I will show you how to use it on Linux, and I am using Linux Mint, uh, and I'll show you exactly what to do, get the files, and actually start. Uh, well, not programming more of uh, getting it ready for it so uh, and with um, the way I have everything on the script files the the files themselves uh, will need your system administrator password unless you allow permissions for this file uh, you will need to make it um, executable uh, Linux Mint 
does have the advantage on some of that, but I'll show you that later in a in a future video. So I do hope this helps and anybody who's still using the device after this long, uh, just know that it is something that uh, does help. Uh, you do need to know the file size for everything. Uh, the two things that are also mentioned in the documentation is that they also, um, there are two of the scripts that are automated. Uh, there's the uh, Genesis script and then there's the <laughs> SNES script. So those two are the ones that are automated to actually take the information from the cartridge and dump it in onto the computer as a file. Uh, and I do not solely condone um, taking anything off the internet. Uh, this is a device that can be used for dumping or dumping the uh, cartridges that you already own or making a cartridge uh, an actual retro game yourself so you can put it to a cartridge uh, that documentation I don't sorry that document <laughs> so it's been a long morning but that documentation is something that is not something that I have have um, for the reason that I do not have um, cartridges or even uh, the money to invest in that at this time. I do want to do it in a future future update of actually getting your cartridge uh, for ROMs that don't actually have it and playing it on a system that it was meant that it was meant for and you'll be able to see that uh, I will do that in a future update so you'll see that later but I will most likely just cut it off at that but I do hope that you do understand that this is I'm trying to make it easier for you to use this without having to scour multiple avenues of the internet. Uh, I just made it a little bit more easier for people who are still trying to learn Linux. Um, I understand there are some that do not want to deal with code. Yes, uh, that that is fine. Uh, this makes it so that you don't have to deal too much with code and retyping everything. Uh, there's certain things that you that you can retype but you don't have to uh, it's just an update um, but I have gone everything to work so I've gotten everything from the SNES Sega Genesis N64 uh, NES uh, those are the ROMs that are built for this. I don't have a Famicom, uh, so I cannot... I don't even have a Famicom uh, cartridge. So I cannot try that out. Uh, disk systems, all that stuff. I don't have the ability to actually try any of that out. So... I... I it is not something that I own, nor um, have I planned to own in the future. I do wish to read Japanese ROMs, but uh, I'm not an avid collector of everything for, for cartridge-based media for the reason that it's too expensive <laughs> in, in the U.S. at least. Uh, and the prices are slightly overblown. Uh, Pokemon ROMs and all that stuff, I understand that, but they 
don't need to be literally that expensive for something that has been on the Game Boy or yeah but I do oh and I also got all the GV well I got everything except for Pokemon and Sonic Advance to work on the GBA cartridge uh, there still needs to be some adjustments within the firmware to actually make it so that it can work properly uh, that is still being worked on hopefully uh, the project has been put on hold for the last couple of years uh, I'm just trying to vi revitalize it making it so that you can get it and get everything done and the nice thing about this is it is not a very complicated uh, thing to make either so all the source files are out there someone could remake this cartridge uh, well this cartridge device and sell it but I do not condone any cells or anything like that it is a uh, it is a well it's not exactly a program and I'm red well I just wanted to let you know on that and I do hope this re revitalizes this a little bit um, hopefully towards the Linux community so that they can start tinkering and finding out ways to update this device in a way that makes it so much easier to use the GBA cartridge because there are certain things and there are certain certain cartridges that still do not work on this device uh, there are other devices that you can get but this is probably the cheapest one that you can get that doesn't cost you a um, hundred dollars it's it's fifty two dollars well fifty four I believe but this device has a lot going for it even though it is a very cheap well it, it's a very cheap alternative to everything of course it is it still needs a case <laughs> and I know the future revisions do have a case I do not have it have a future revision so I can't say but I do hope the project does get revitalized and hope to see you next time on Tech Artist 41 thank you for joining me today and this is Tim signing off <laughs>